Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting a lot of stuff done, including getting a Tinker Smeltery up and running, and hopefully getting ourselves some pretty decent tools. Hopefully you guys are ready. Alright, so I've gathered quite a bit. I went and got myself a tank here, which is not very hard to make. Um, very, very cheap, very simple, um, but it holds 16 buckets, so um, I have this thing filled with lava that I found from Lavapool just across over there. Um, and we're going to be making ourselves a smeltery. So I did arrange these things. I did fix my texture pack. Apparently my texture pack was a little funky. Um, so I fixed that. So now it's, everything's faithful as far as I know, except for some of the biome mods that's down there. Um, some of those blocks aren't added into this pack, but, um, other than that, it should be pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, but I arranged this the way that it's set up here, minus the part builder being in between these things. I don't know if I should do that, do that or not. Um, I accidentally let my water disappear, which is not a good thing. Um, I uh, ended up breaking that block, and creosote oil apparently destroys water. So that's something to note. Um, I guess how that could be used is if you wanted to clear a pond, just place a block of creosote oil, and it will literally just demolish all the water. So not, not too difficult there. Um, I don't know how exactly uh, it works with a giant pool of water it may just float on top I don't I don't know it should float on top it's oil so or I mean it should uh, should sink to the bottom um, but I don't know anyways let's go ahead and make some stuff so I know we're gonna need some seared bricks for sure um, to even like just to get started um, we can kind of build build out our foundation I know we're gonna need a controller and we're gonna need some smeltery drains we're going to need some of these, which is another smeltery drain. I think I'll do two smeltery drains. Those are always handy to have. And have two faucets. Um, and I should have enough here to make some more bricks and stuff. And then we're going to need a tank. I think the tank is made like this with glass. There we go. There's our sear tank. And that's pretty much all you need. You need a smeltery controller and a sear tank. And some blocks. Okay, so let's see. We may be able to to make this right over here. I plan on building a house over here, um, here shortly. But for right now, we'll just have our smeltery set up here. Okay, so four. Actually, it should be should go right here. We can do it four blocks in size. This one will make an actual full size. It's so cheap to make this guy. I'm gonna actually build them build them correctly. Um, go ahead and place that there. There we go. Ooh, I like the I like the texture on this with the texture back. Looks really good. Um, am I doing this? Actually, no. I probably should have made it bigger. <laughs> I'm so used to doing the other size. Um, but I, I guess I can start with this size. It's no big deal. I can always expand it. Um, it, depends, it depends on how many more bricks I have. This may be actually just enough. So, let's go ahead and... Right here can be the controller, and I can have a faucet right here. Unfortunately, I don't have a pick, so let me go just make another pickaxe. I wanted to avoid making uh, an iron pickaxe, so I'm going to use stone. I'm going to use some cobblestone here. And it's just, just to avoid using more of my iron up. Because I'm pretty sure I don't need iron for this, no. Okay, so I can put a tank over here. Tank there. Put our smeltery controller right here. No big deal. Um, our smeltery drain. Put that there. And I can keep this one on me for now. We don't really need it at the moment. And then we're good. And then we can just dig a hole. And that's where all of our good stuff's going to happen. Alright, and we can just place this tank here. And configure it to push into here. And it's going to keep that full for now. And that way we don't have to really worry about it. Now we should be able to double ores as well. Um, I don't really have many ores. Uh, but I think I have more... Uh, did I use it all? I think I did use it all. Uh, that gives me fancy seared bricks. That's not what I want. I need some more grout. Just a little bit more grout. And I don't think I have any. I think I used all my seared bricks when I shouldn't have. <laughs> T 
Typical. Um, yeah, I need to make a platform. So I'm going to take this and I should be able to extend this up a little bit more. Because right now, it doesn't hold that that much. Um, now we have a few more slots and a little bit more. Hold 64 ingots worth. Alright, I'm going to go find some more um, gravel and, and sand and I think it should be good. Because I have a bunch of clay now. I found clay, it was underground. Um, so I got that while I was mining, but uh, I'll be back and I'll uh, be able to extend this a little bit more. All right, so we should have enough seared brick now that we can make um, some more of our stuff. So um, it should be a casting table, casting table. We don't need cabbage in there. All right, and now we have our casting table, so that should be pretty easy to use. Um, now setting this up, we could use gold. I think that's going to be our best bet. Two gold makes one cast, and I think we only need to make one cast at the moment. I, I could make two casts, actually. Make two casts, because I'll use uh, iron for the armor. Actually, we have pig iron as well. Boy, we could use aradite as well. Ooh. Totally forgot about that. We have aradite automatically. So, let's do aradite. Uh, pig iron lets us eat our tool, so I don't know if I want to do that. Um, but Aradite will be fast. So we can do Aradite. That'll let us mine Obsidian. Um, and... Yeah. We can do Aradite. And... I think Iron would be fine. Aradite and Iron. So let's throw the Aradite in there. Because that'll be nice. And also we need to throw this gold. So we're going to need actually three casts, to be honest. So you need two more gold. And I'll make all the casts. Okay. So, we need the blank patterns. And they can go inside here. And we're going to need a tool binding. And then we're going to need just a regular pickaxe head. And we're going to need a regular tool rod pattern. And apparently, these can all be stored in here. Okay, I see how it works now. Okay, it can be stored in here. And now we can see them. Okay, that makes a, that's a lot nicer. I actually like that better. Okay, so let's grab ourselves some cobblestone. We can just throw the cobblestone in there. Because we're going to make a template for each one of these. There we go. Um, I actually might want another chest. As well. Just for quick storage. There we go. Four chests, that's plenty. We'll place a chest right here. Right now. Okay. And this will store the stuff like this. Alright, we should be able to throw the last bit of gold in there. Go ahead and make our pickaxe head. Make sure our gold is at the bottom. And I think this consumes two gold. Yes. It does consume two gold. So there's that cast. Looks kind of weird with the texture pack, I think. I don't know. And we'll store that. Actually, let's take this one out, too. Alright. And well, now we have enough. We should have enough. Four more left. We had six in total. Bam. Grab our last one. And we should be good to go. Okay, so we do have iron and aridite. I should just make the whole thing out of aridite. Uh, I don't know what the durability is on aridite. That's the thing. It's gotta be... Uh, I don't know, I think cobalt is actually better than aridite. I'm gonna make the binding and stuff. I think the cast. This uses one. That uses two. Okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll definitely make it like that. I will have Aridite as the pickaxe head. Just like that. And then I will make the, uh, the binding also out of Aridite. There we go, swap that out. I don't like how it does that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll finish this one off. We can throw that in here. That's done. Take that. 
and last but not least, our iron. Now we'll probably have to repair this with Ardite. That's the only issue I'm I might have with this. Um, is repairing it with Ardite. All right, so let's go ahead and craft this thing. It's a regular pick, except for we have access to Ardite. So it does have a good durability, a pretty decent mining speed, pretty decent attack for sure. Um, oh, and we have the mod that adds experience to this so we can continue to add modifiers. So we only have three modifiers, but we can have multiple modifiers. Sweet, we also completed some quests. Um, I don't think it has to, anything to do with this, but uh, hunting, gathering, that's not, store solution, tinkering around, that's probably where we've got some achievements now. So we've got all this, we can claim all of our awesome loot bags, uh oh, we got a pick, um, diamond or nine iron, mm, I don't know how, Honestly, right now, iron is definitely more of an issue than diamond, but I think I'm going to go with diamond. Um, and then we have this. Oh, that gives us more grout. We could have just done that. And we get more seared bricks. That's always awesome. Oh, and we get blocks of aluminum brass. I didn't have to waste my gold. Should have looked at the quest before I did it. Oh, boy. Oh, well. We did get some uh, get some good stuff, though. Sweet, so we got more brick, which means we can just extend this some more. Extend it up, anyways. Don't know how high we, I mean, we don't have to go too high with this, but we're going to go high enough, that's for sure. That's plenty. I don't know what was hurting us, but we got hurt. Um, oh, he's back. Boy, these guys are rough. They're everywhere. He doesn't know where he was shooting. There we go. I'm going to have tons of... I could, I'll be able to build a whole house out of this stuff by the time he's done with me. Crazy. Okay. So let's see what we get in our bags. Alright, so we get a bunch of weird stuff, actually. Don't know how happy I am about that. Uh, the blocks of aluminum brass I definitely like. I'll store some of this stuff in here. We're definitely running out of out of places to store stuff, that's for sure. I might just start putting all my food items in this chest. That That's probably going to be the best thing to do. And tools and such go here. And bam, we have this nice pick. I can't wait to use it, so I'm definitely going to need to use that here soon. Okay, and now we can continue. There's the cracker. Let's see what's in our uncommon. Oh, one piece of redstone. How oh, nice. And, ooh, name tags. Those aren't bad. That is not bad at all. Okay. So, like I said, the name tags can go in here. Um, our cracker we can eat later. I, I've already found some redstone, so we now have added to our redstone list. Um, and now we have another diamond. So, it gives us three diamond. We have 18 emeralds. We're doing pretty good, I think. At least getting started. This feels really good getting started. I just have to build a house. Build a nice shelter other than this little shelter that we have. This little campsite. And I think we'll be good to go. Okay. So, let's go see how well this thing mines. Actually, I would like to add... If I can. Can I already add some modifiers to it? I would like to add some haste to it if I can. Let's try... Okay, that added some haste, not much, but I really do need some haste because it's pretty painful mining um, at the moment <laughs> with this pickaxe, because I need a lot more iron. That way we can go ahead and upgrade to our hammer, and our hammer will make our life a lot easier. Uh, mining with a hammer is just so much easier, so uh, it's okay. It feels to me like mining with the iron pickaxe. It's not the greatest, but once we get some more redstone, I will be able to beef this thing up and it'll be mining so fast I uh, the blocks won't even update so um, we're doing alright we're doing alright so I, I'm gonna mine a little bit off camera and see what we can get and uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side so just like uh, always I was mining and BAM 
Um, it's like even down my first mine shaft, I found my first set of diamonds. First legit set of diamonds, I guess you'd say. I got some in the loot bag. Um, and I think I got diamonds for completing quests, but not actually mining them. So uh, I just wanted to show that. So there you go. I found myself some diamonds. Nice. Okay, so I'm not saying there's lots of diamonds in this pack, but there's lots of diamond. Um, so all that diamond over there, diamond over here. Um, I have so much diamond in my inventory. Um, yeah, I found a lot of diamond. <laughs> Let's just say that either I'm in a lucky area, or this it's just highly populated with like. Look at this diamond ore. There's a diamond here, diamond here. This is his own vein. It is. It's his own vein. And then up here is gold and, and uh, diamond. So yeah, I've and there's another one over there. So yeah, there's just a lot of diamond. Um, so I'll be able to have myself a full set of diamond armor, at least starting out. That's not going to be bad. Um, yeah, I've just been doing quite a bit of mining. As you can see, I got some redstone. I've almost got a whole stack of diamond. But, and almost a whole stack of iron. I'm just working my way towards getting this stuff. I'm trying to avoid mobs as much as I can, at least until I get some armor. And a decent sword. Um, just really doing the vanilla stuff, so. Yeah, almost done, and then I'll be back. So, since I'm back, um, I guess we can go ahead and look at automating um, or doubling. Um, so, we can go ahead and make one of these. I think this guy, this block really doesn't need any description exactly what it does. It emits redstone pulse at a given delay. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. Um, and that doesn't look too hard to make. That's really just a couple of sticks and some redstone and some cobblestone. So, pretty simple there. Um, I think I have regular, regular cobblestone. There we go. So yeah, I should be able to make um, this as far as I know. Need one more piece of redstone, I think. Yeah. So, four redstone torches. Bam, make a redstone clock. Okay, that's pretty simple. Um, now we need to make ourselves an ingot cast. So, it could be any ingot. Uh, what ingot do we have laying around that I don't care to have. Um, we can get rid of, I guess, um, I would say a seared brick, but that's not going to work. Let's just do an iron ingot, because I don't really want to get rid of any of these other ingots. By the way, we have so much diamonds. I, I don't even know. What are these, what are these used for in this pack? I mean, Regular armor. I think I'm going to make myself some armor real quick. Uh, at least the top half of the armor. Um, because I have slime boots on. So I don't really need much other than that. But man, we have so much diamond. I just don't want to waste it. So let me just throw myself some armor. So now I'm fully armored up pretty much. Um, and still have so many diamonds to spare. It's crazy. Uh, okay, so setting up a cast for this and also probably getting a hopper would work. A simple hopper. Let's see, what is a hopper going to cost me? It's going to cost me a bit of iron. A bit of iron. I do have a chest on me. So, it's going to cost me some, some iron. Don't need torches going in there, thank you. Um, but other than that, that should pretty much automate this thing. Now... Let me take everything out of this chest. We're going to break this down into one. I'm going to have to... Actually, we have... Ducks. We have hopper ducks in this pack. Do we have... Enough iron? We don't have enough iron. Hmm. I guess we can get ourselves one iron before we set this up. But, like I said, we're going to burn... We're going to burn one piece of iron anyways. Setting up this cast. Okay, so let's get aluminum brass that we got from the quest. We can cut that up into pieces. Now, aluminum brass is a little bit different. This is one per cast. So there we go. We got a, a quest there completed for making aluminum brass, even though we didn't make it. What do we get from that quest? We get another block of aluminum brass. <laughs> we get so much aluminum brass. Um, okay. Perfect. Uh, doesn't bother me too much. Okay, so when you get aluminum brass, let's, let's burn a... Uh, let's go ahead and burn this guy up. Okay. Now we can throw our iron 
in here. At least as much of it as we can get inside here. Bam. And all that should cook up fairly nice. And uh, shouldn't take that long, but we'll have to have ourselves some iron in there. We already do have some, we have two ingots in there. I guess that's perfect. That'll get us what we need. Um, I think I can set this redstone clock up here. And right now it's delayed 20 ticks. Let's set that to five. I think it's a five seconds for this. Does it have to have a redstone signal? Delay 20 ticks. Okay, there we go. Um, pulse length. Oh, one tick. Delay, five ticks. If it works. That's weird. May have to have a redstone signal. I'm guessing, possibly. Um, we can try giving it one. Don't think that's going to help, though. Whoa, what happened? It literally ate our torch. It ate our redstone torch. Did you guys see that? Watch, it's gonna eat our torch. If you place a redstone torch around it, it removes the torch. Just deletes it. Yeah, the redstone clock's not working. I mean, I could set up a regular timer. Uh, will this place on the wall? There it goes. Yes, it does. And let's just try a lever, I guess. Um, since it's not working. If this doesn't work, then there's not much I can do, I guess with this setup. This will just have to be by hand. It removes it. Anything redstone related, it destroys. So, is there a timer? Um, nothing. Isn't that from I thought that was from Redstone or oh, Vanilla Automation. I'm guessing it probably destroys even like regular Redstone. We need a pulse. It's not pulsing. Not doing anything for us. Okay, now can we get a lever to it? <laughs> I just want this to work. I don't care if I have to put the lever away from it. No, what is up with that? How strange. Whatever it is, it doesn't work. At least not how I want it to work, and now it's broken. Yeah, I, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It was right there. Okay, so maybe we're not automating this this way. Okay, so I just went with about as simple of a automated redstone clock as I possibly could. And this is what I come up with. Um, the old school, tiny little bitty redstone clock. Um, since this guy wasn't working, I, I don't know. I... It's probably a bug. 
Um, I don't know. I'll ask uh, Alice 99 and see what he says about it, or he'll probably see it in the video and uh, see what he says. But yeah, I'm slowly picking up this stuff uh, because I'm going to need it to make the hopper or hopper duct. I should say hopper duct. And that is really simple to make. We just need some wood and surround it like so, and you get a hopper duct. Now, hopper duct is pretty cool. In its own right, um, you can use it to pretty much extend your hopper. Now, I need a block here. I actually need to be under this even more. It's kind of a pain, honestly, but uh, we'll get to it. All right, it's gonna go here. Our chest is still gonna be in the same position it was. So if we fill this all back up, our chest is still going to go right here after we kill this guy. All right, let's kill him. Oh, no. He wrecked. Ooh, he dropped a pretty nice loot bag. I like seeing that kind of loot bag. That's a rare one. Let's open that up. Ooh, we got burgers. We got silver. And we got blocks of quartz. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, they don't transfer here, but they will work. Um, okay. Oh, so the chest is already hooked up. Oh, does it automatically export now to the nearest chest? Oh, wait, no, it's going to here. What am I thinking? Okay, so we should be able to hook this up to here. And now, everything should be going from the hopper into this and going up. Pretty nice how that works, right? I love hopper ducks. Um, I've used them before. And uh, they're pretty nice. They do come in handy. So there you go. And you can use hop hopper ducks to extend just like a pipe um, from anywhere. And they can go up, do all kinds of funky things. Pretty nice. Um, then we can just continue to throw our items in here. We can use a regular hopper to dispense those. So I'm not too worried about that. But we pretty much now have automated uh, ore doubling. And I'm pretty sure it is ore doubling, right? So, I think. <laughs> I may not be. Who knows? Um, when this is done, I think I only put 32 in. So, I think I only grabbed a stack of 32 and it's already producing 32. 325. Yeah, we just threw all this in. I'm pretty sure. Because this is fixing to be 32. Totally, and it's just ran out. Uh, maybe, and we also used 6. So yeah, there's our 32. So yeah, it definitely it definitely is doubling. So now we have all that ore doubling. Um, and when our needs are being covered at the moment. So yeah, that's pretty nice. So I think we've done quite a bit today. This is going to be pretty nice. Um, the only other thing I can I can possibly do is see if we can't go ahead and make upgrade our tool forge. That will be really nice. Do I have enough to do it? Yes, I do. Sweet. Now we can upgrade our tool forge to the iron tool forge, which requires, um, I guess, any kind of stone. Or does it have to be seared brick? It has to be seared brick. Do we have any more seared brick? I do. So there we go. There's our seared brick. And we have everything else, I think. Um, we need our old tool station. And bam. We are fixing to have our tool forge. Sweet. Surprised that wasn't an upgrade because now we have access to everything with uh, Tinker's Construct with uh, metal and everything like that. So now I can finally make my hammer. So we're a couple episodes in and bam, making a hammer. I love that. Um, and I should be able to make it with some Ardite, hopefully. Maybe some pig iron. I might try a pig iron. I don't know. Be pretty interesting. Well, you know what? If you guys enjoyed this episode, please remember to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and as always, thanks for watching.